A lot of people ask us, how do we proof color logic? Well, in the old days we were saying you'd have to do a press proof, but with the advent now of uh, a lot of different solvent engines coming out, such as Epson, Mamaki, Roland, and uh, Muto, there are a lot of engines that allow us to actually do proofing with the inkjet for matching the different printing processes we support. Here's an example of a flexo run that we did at Model Graphics. And this is normal, what you'd say, for a uh, narrow web, four up job. And what we did is we supplied the same file to our friends at CGS, which has a, have a great rip for inkjet proofing, and they output this on the Roland DG. So what I'm going to show you next is this is the proof that they produced. They had never seen the finished sheet. They just produced these sheets. And now you can see a comparison of the Flexo print on top compared to what we got with the um, solvent-based Roland, in this case with CGS on the bottom. Um, we call it an effect proof. It might not perfectly match, but I got to tell you, these are so close and they're easy to adjust if you want to make them even closer. But um, just a great result and it just shows you today that you can utilize metallics and now with the advent of these different engines with solvent, silvers, and white is now we have a proofing system that can greatly uh, demonstrate what's possible when you get to press. So I'd like to thank uh, Model Graphics for their work and CGS for their effort.